Hey guys, how are you? Um, today is going to be my products that I've used up video, which there's a lot in here, so we're just going to jump into it and get started. I've been saving for months to show you guys all this stuff. Um, so the first couple things are Bath and Body Works candles. The first one is Espresso. And this is a, oh it's chocolate and coffee and it's amazing. But evidently this is discontinued. However, I did smell a candle the other day when I went in there that was basically the exact same thing. So I might go pick that up. Then I have the candle in the scent Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. This one. This reminds me somewhat of pancakes almost, but um, it's just such a sweet scent. It's awesome. I love this candle too. And the last one is cinnamon frosting. So if the season on this tells you how long I've been saving, it's been a long time. So this one smells like you took a Cinnabon, stuck it in a glass container and lit it on fire. It smells so good, you guys. So I love this. Now, uh, I would like to do a video, if you guys would like to see it, showing you how to turn what's the leftover wax that you leave behind in your candles, how to turn that into those melt waxes that you use for your flameless candles. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know. Then we're going to jump in. I have a lot of bath and skin products and then I've got a couple makeup products. So the first thing I have is the St. Ives Oatmeal and Shea Butter. I really enjoyed this. I think the greatest thing about this was, for one, the scent, but also because it made my skin feel really, really soft and was so nice. And this was only like $4, so... The next thing I have used up, it was the Hello Hydration from Herbal Essences. Yes, it's a little dirty. It was in my shower for months because it's so big. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I didn't really like this, but I wanted to use it because, you know, I bought it. So I didn't really feel like it moisturized my hair all that well. And I'm not a shampoo or conditioner snob. I use the Garnier Fruit Teas and I really like that. So, yeah. Not a huge fan. The next product that I have is the Tresemme Split Remedy. I didn't really care for this either, unfortunately. Um, it's a leave-in conditioning, leave conditioning spray. I would say if you're going to spend money and you want to get a really good leave-in conditioner, I recommend that it's a 10. It works for my hair really well and it makes my hair really soft, so save your money and don't get this one. The next thing I have are the Equate Beauty Original Clean Wet Cleansing Towelettes. You get 60, I think they're like $5 at Walmart. And what I like is that it's got the little pop top on it, so that way you can keep your uh, towelettes fresh for as long as possible. And I really like these. They don't burn my eyes, they're great for sensitive skin, and they also have ones that are microdermabrasion wipes that have little beads on them that help to exfoliate your skin. Those are nice too. Keeping on the skin trend, I have the Ocean Salt from Lush. Now, um, I use this all up. I don't love this scent, and this says it's a face and body scrub, but guys, let's be honest, this is way too abrasive for your face. I recommend only using this on your body. And also, remember to save your Lush containers, because if you return them back to Lush, if you save five and you return them to Lush, you get a free, fresh face mask, so. But I did really like this, and the color's really pretty, because it's bright blue. Um, the next Lush product that I have is the Catastrophe Cosmetic Face Mask. Now, I really like these face masks. I throw them in my refrigerator and put them on after a really long day. They pull out all the, the toxins in my skin, and I just really enjoy the way that they feel. Now, if you're looking for a cheaper face mask, I have one here. This is the uh, Facial Polishing Mask in Charcoal and Black Sugar. This is from Freeman. These are like, I think, $1.49. And charcoal is great for pulling out toxins in your skin. So if you're looking for something with that effect, this one's really nice. And it's great um, because it's got these little grains of sugar in it, which really exfoliate the skin. However, if you do have sensitive skin, I recommend not using this. Um, and try a, a softer, um, maybe a softer one like the Lush products have. Like maybe like the, um, what is the honey oatmeal face mask? That'd be really good for sensitive skin. Okay, so after my face mask, I always put on a moisturizer and I use the Origins Ginseng. 
This one's so amazing, you guys. It smells like straight up oranges in a jar. It's a nice, thick cream and it goes on really smoothly it makes your skin so soft and I really love this however it is on the costly end so if you're looking for a great drugstore one I really recommend the Aveeno daily moisturizers for your skin those are really nice as well to hair products I have the Aussie moist three minute miracle um, I had seen Bethany Moda talk about this product and she talked about how much she loved it I did like this I am not gonna lie and say that it didn't moisturize my hair because it definitely did but I would say if I'm looking for a drugstore deep conditioner I really like the ones that L'Oreal has out uh, specifically the damage repair and the um, moisture one the blue one that works really well for my curly hair it's straight today, but my hair is naturally curly for you, those of you who don't know. All right, so getting to the bottom of the bag. There's still a lot left. Don't worry. Okay, I have the Bosha um, Pore Purifying Black Strips. I had a whole box of these. Honestly, for $22, I think these were, I would recommend just getting the Biore ones. They work just as well, and I mean, I like them, but I wouldn't spend that much on Biore or on a pore strip again. <laughs> then um, I am signed up for Voxbox, which is basically you go and you answer questions about products that you've used and um, write reviews and stuff and then if you qualify they'll send you a, what they call the Vox Box and it is free and then uh, all they ask is that you do do a review on the box and if um, you don't after a while they'll just stop sending you boxes. Now if you don't get a box every month you only get them for the ones you qualify for and you have to take a quiz for it but I think it's a really cool website anyway, and something that I got sent was uh, three of these Clear Cell uh, Refreshing Superfruit Face Washes. Now I think this is a great drugstore face wash. It was great, it removed my makeup, it was super gentle, and it smelled really good. So there's that. Then I have a lotion. This is the Lostin lotion. What I really love about this is for one, it's small, so it fit in my purse really nicely, but also because this is such a thick, rich cream, it soaked right into my skin and it was so incredibly moisturizing. So if you're looking for a really nice lotion, I would recommend this one. Then I have an abundance of mascaras. I go through mascaras the quickest probably because I try to replace them every three months or so. Uh, the first one is MAC Hot Naughty. I mentioned this in my MAC's favorite video. I love this because for one, you can open it this way and have a super long wand, which using this longer wand gives you just more length. And then um, if you get it with the short end, which makes it thicker bristles, um, then it gives you more volume. So I really enjoyed this. This is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume. I really did not care for this. I felt like the brush is too flimsy. I felt like it just really did nothing for my lashes. You can see how flimsy this is. Um, however, this is a more natural feeling mascara, so if you're not looking for something that's gonna make your lashes hard, I would recommend this one. But other than that, I didn't really see any um, any benefit for my lashes. Uh, my favorite drugstore mascara is the Falsies. I've bought this a million times. I love it. It gives my, my lashes so much volume, so much length, and literally it's just, it is the greatest mascara that I've used from the drugstore. And then the last one is the Benefit They're Real. I like this mascara. I wouldn't purchase it full size, but for a sample, it was pretty good. Okay. Then I have the Juicy Couture Noir scent. Um, if you go into Sephora and you smell a scent that you like, they'll actually give you a sample of it to take home so you can try it before you buy it. And this one, I knew I loved in the store, but I really wanted a sample to take home. Um, and this smells incredible. I can't let you smell it through the lens, but go to Sephora and smell it. It's the Juicy Couture Noir. It smells so good. Alright guys, I think everything left in here is makeup after this last product. So this is the Tarte Pure Miracula Oil. I did not like this. The bottle's cute, but it did nothing for my skin. Um, it's similar to the Josie Marin Argan Oil. That did nothing for my skin. If you have dry skin, you'll love this. Um, if you have super oily skin, 
you'll love this um, because oil combats oil but I, it was, I wasn't a fan okay the next product is the MAC Studio Sculpt foundation. I love this. I've mentioned this in my MAC favorites as well. It is such a great full coverage foundation. Now if I really wanted to get every single use out of this, I could cut this open and squeeze the product into a pan and then apply it that way, but I'm just going to go buy a backup of this. It's a lot of work. Then I have the MAC Mineralized Concealer. I love this. I've used all of it. Once again, if I wanted to get every single bit and drop out, I could cut the container in half, but I will just go buy a backup instead. Then I have the MAC uh, Sun Dipped Foundation. I told you guys how much I love this in my MAC Favorites video, and I mean it. I mean, look, I hit pan on it. Now, I went ahead and bought a backup, not of the Sun Dipped, but of a different bronzer, so that's why I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the remaining powder that's left in here, but it was still, I mean, I love, love, love this. We only have a couple products left. Alright, after this, we only have this many products left, you guys. Okay, so the first one talk about this one. This is the Lorac um, Eye Primer. This, guys, to be honest, is horrible. It did nothing to keep my eyeshadow on. I mean, nothing. I put it on. I put my shadows on over it. It was like I applied grease to my eyelids. It just did not keep my shadows on. I'd recommend um, one of the next products I'm about to show or the MAC, um, the MAC Paint Pots. Okay, so this next product is the Maybelline Color Eye Tattoo in Barely Branded. I wish they would come out with matte versions of these, but until then, if you're looking for a nice primer from the drugstore, I recommend not looking at primers at all, but looking at something like a cream base to apply. You can't take this too high on your lid, um, or else it'll look a little funky. And yes, I consider this being, um, being used up and as an empty, because Anybody who owns these types of paint pots knows that by the time that you get to the bottom of these, the sides get super dried up and really hard to work with, so it's just easier if you throw it away and get new ones. But if you wanted to continue to use this, you could use a little bit of like Fix Plus or something on a, found, uh, on a foundation brush, on an eyeshadow brush, and apply it to your lid that way. Then I have the Maybelline Line Stiletto. I like this, but I think if you can afford it, that the... Um, the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner is a lot better. You have more control because this is two separate pieces. So unless you're pretty skilled with your um, with your eyeliner, I recommend going with one that's in um, that's in pencil form. Then I have the Jordana Easy Liner in brown suede. I've owned like 50 of these. I used to use them a lot when I was in high school. And um, now that I've had the opportunity to try some um, high-end brands, this just really does not work for me. So this is a full one, but I'm going to be get, getting rid of it. Um, I'd give it away except for I've opened it and I've used it. So. Um, but yeah, I think the thing about these is they're $1.99, but they're super hard to work with, and um, they don't glide on easy. They're kind of patchy in their application, and um, if you're looking for a really nice, easy application pencil liner, I really recommend the It Cosmetics liners. So they're really great. Then I have the Laura Mercier Tint and Moisturizer with SPF 20. I want to get the full size of this, you guys. I love it. I put it all over my face on days I don't want to wear foundation. And it just, it looks so good on. Um, I've used a lot of tint and moisturizers and BB creams, but this is actually probably my favorite that I've used. And this was a sample and it lasted me months, so I really like that. And the last product is a Buxom lip gloss. Once again, this was a sample that I received in a Sephora bag, and I loved it so much. Um, yeah, I mean, I literally have used up every bit that I can get out of here, because the one's not big enough to get all the product out of the bottom. But anyway, I wanted to go buy this in full size and I took this with me. And this is in the color Dolly, by the way. And I went into the store and I looked at it in the big tube and they were not the same color. So for, I didn't get the full size of this as much as I loved it. But yeah, that is everything that I've used up, you guys. I can finally throw this stuff away. Um, 
I'm so excited for you guys to see. I've got the, I finally went and got the Urban Decay electric palette, you guys. I went to Sephora today because they were having the Urban Decay event, and I was just blown away. They did such a great job on my makeup, um, and I was just very impressed. They did a really nice job, and you get a free gift for going and letting them do your makeup, so, yeah, hey. Walk out with a free gift, and you know, I got the palette that I really, really wanted. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye.